there. So I'm Evan, and I bought this car from Vroom, and I did record my delivery experience, so now I'm actually just gonna tell you what my buying experience was and my overall rating of the car, and overall rating of dealing with Vroom. So let's start with the experience. I had my eyes on this M3. I, in parallel, sold a 300ZX twin turbo that I had for over 10 years. Moving from this car to that car is a drastic change, but I'm loving it so I said, far. I had my eyes on this car for uh, three weeks already, and I actually did the, the purchase process with them and then canceled it because my wife and I agreed with her, said sell your car first before you actually buy it. I'm gonna go back to the original delivery price of $600, and you're willing to go back to the original listing price, I will buy this car. So anyway, it took them, I'd say about two hours. They talked, someone, the person I dealt with talked to a manager, and lower the price back to the original price and delivery price. So I was very, very pleased with that. So I put a deposit down. I had to fill out, they email you uh, within probably 24 hours, your paperwork after you put a $500 deposit down on the credit card. At that point, once you sign the paperwork, you officially committed to the car. The one thing I would say about the paperwork that took me for surprise, law, you can sue them through arbitration. Now, I'm not an expert legally what that means in every detail, so don't over-criticize me. But the primary thing is you can't make it public, you can't join a class action lawsuit, I believe, and you're basically saying, I will agree to let uh, an arbitrator, a judge, be the uh, decider on the case and and instead of having a jury go through your you know the car your... goes to a hub and in, in my case the car's coming from california and the hub was in new jersey about an hour and a half from my house so the car got to the hub they called me they said they'll deliver it early i thanked them the car came you you saw probably the video of me in taking inception of the car so it was a very pleasant experience minus the wheel being curbed, which they compensated me for. And my only other gripe with them was the delivery process takes a little longer than it should. I get it was coming from California, but I just felt the, the time to read the contracts and sign it and get you everything. I, I felt like they could have had me this car in 15 days. But, you know, that's just me. Do I recommend Vroom? The answer is absolutely. What would I give them? Overall, I'd give them a B. They met my expectations in many ways, but definitely not entirely. I think their customer service is very good. I would give their customer service a B plus. Very ple it's very pleasant to talk to them. I'd give the people that you talk to an A. I would give, B I'd give the delivery experience a B minus. The actual car was fairly dirty, and I felt like it took a little longer than it should have. Representation of the car, I'm gonna give it a B. And the website is where I think they need the most improvement. So I'm gonna give the overall experience of their website a C. And it's not because the browsing while you're searching for a car is bad. It's because sometimes the photos, uh, like for example, if you saw my photos, they were in like a checkered experience. And when I tried to zoom in, they give you a 360 view, but that just doesn't do it for you. Sometimes you cannot see how, you know, the details. So for example, my brakes were extremely dirty. I couldn't tell what color my calipers were. I assume they were blue because that's the stock color, but you couldn't tell in the photo. So I like when you do it in a nice bright room or outside, because when you see a car in sunlight, you really get a good representation. So I would recommend they do that. I would also recommend on their actual website, once you actually do buy the car, that they, when you log in, that they actually give you a status update. That's one thing I think hey, they're lacking. I read a lot of bad reviews of Brew, and I can't speak to these people's experiences, but 
I'm just gonna say this. When you buy a used car, it's gonna be, a, it's not gonna be smooth. There's always gonna be things that you don't foresee coming. So I think that people are a little harsh on them or maybe they just had really bad experiences. Maybe they really did. But I like that you have so many guarantees, right? You could get a full extended warranty on your car. You could get it checked out by a mechanic. You have seven days to drive it. You don't have to accept it upon inception. So I feel like it's kind of foolproof. Yes, you could put, you're gonna put money out, like a $500 deposit that's non-returnable, and you might have to pay the delivery fee, but you know what? I'll put it this way. I'd rather risk $1,000 or a little more than $1,000 and not have to deal with a bad car and, and have an opportunity to really check it out and have peace of mind, then so do I would it say the give them a chance if you see something you really like. I do recommend them. That is where I'm going with this. Here she is, all cleaned up. I drove it very hard, so there's brake dust. I am extremely happy with my purchase, and I look forward to owning this M3 for a very long time to come.